Hey everyone, my name is Diana, and today I'm going to show you how to play Sudoku. It's a game that is satisfyingly simple, but can be deceptively difficult. Uh, so continue watching if you want to learn more. So here's an example of a typical Sudoku board. Apologies for the drawn version I'm showing you, my printer decided not to work today. Uh, the board is comprised of cells where an individual number goes, and these cells are called squares. So here's an example of a cell. Squares are grouped off into sections of nine numbers to create boxes. And the puzzle is a total of 81 squares with nine boxes to create a three by three box grid. Many puzzles have dark lines to separate the box grid for easy identification, while the individual cells are segmented by thinner dark lines. To solve a puzzle, each row of squares must contain a row of numbers one through nine. Each column must contain numbers one through nine, and each box must contain numbers one through nine. No row, column, or box must contain more than one of each number. Now that we have a general idea of how to play it, let's try to solve an easy puzzle together. So when looking at any puzzle of any difficulty level, many of the squares will already be filled in. We have to use logic in the process of elimination to deduce what goes in the rest of the squares. So how I like to approach these, prop, uh, these puzzles is by limiting possibilities based on other numbers in the same box, row, or column. If we look at this example here, uh, we can see that across this row of boxes, there's a four located in this box and this box, but not this box. Therefore, by depending on the values um, in adjacent boxes, we can deduce the location of four in this box. Um, we know that four cannot be located here because there's a four already present in this row. Similarly, we know that four cannot be located here or here because it's already present in this row. Therefore, uh, four can uh, be localized to this position, this position, or this position. Now, if we look at across the columns, we can see that four cannot be located here or here because of its present um, presence in this column and this column in these boxes. Therefore, we can localize the final position of four to here. If we continue to use this strategy, we can solve most easy puzzles. So guys, here's the final solution. For more advanced puzzles, we need to use more difficult techniques, but for puzzles like the one I've shown here that are relatively simple, the techniques I've described should be sufficient. Thanks for listening and comment if you have any questions. Thanks.